Hello, and welcome to I Almost Married That. This is about my ex-fiance. We spent five years together. I will not be giving away any personal details. All I will say is that she is from America, from a southern state, because those were pretty important. I don't really intend to be getting into any positive things about her in this, because I remember them and they're not really that important. This is partially therapy, because as you might have guessed from the title, I can hardly believe that I almost married this woman. And perhaps this can also be something for others to gather around. If they themselves have come out of a relationship where they looked back and said, wow, that could have been my spouse. Or, if someone is currently in a relationship where they have huge, basic disagreements. I'm not talking about, like, little fights, like, do you always have to put your socks on the floor? No, I'm talking about values and morals. If you have problems on that very level, this may not be the right person for you. I can appreciate that you might be in love with him, that's what I was, but think hard, you know? Okay, so to get it started, she hated black people. She felt that all black people were pretty much just criminal. Like, I don't know, I guess she felt that once they came out of the womb, their first thought was, okay, what can I steal? Who can I kill? She felt that all men were potential rapists and murderers. She once feared that she would be raped and murdered by two completely random men who were doing some work on the house because, ooh, she was alone. They had the chance, so surely they would rape and kill her. I guess I don't even have to tell you anymore that she's paranoid. She had this un... impossible to move pride in just being American, even though she had a ton of problems with America. She could not handle if her country didn't come out on top. She hates the French without really being able to, you know, explain why. I tried to tell her, well, they've given the world a lot of culture, they've given us cheese, wine, everybody worldwide, you know, have probably tried at least one French cheese or one French wine. I mean, if they have at all moved into those culinary areas of delight, and she refused to accept that as any kind of achievement. An example of how she would always insist that America came out on top, I once pointed out to her that here in Denmark we have a brewery that, as far as I understand, delivers to the rest of the world, beer to the rest of the world. And her immediate response, without flinching, was, so does America. Yes, I know. America's a really big country, Denmark is not. It's, it's like, you, you have hundreds of millions of people, we have about five and a half million, million people. It's a little bit more impressive that we deliver to the rest of the world, because, yeah. She feels that essentially every Muslim is a terrorist or a potential terrorist. She was certain that she herself and her kind, meaning Caucasian, Southern American, she even hates people from North, you know, the Northern states of America. She herself is always right, and her kind is always right. So, I once asked her what if, you know, she, she said it was a good thing when someone from another country who didn't agree with America sw switched sides and came over to America. I suggested what if an American soldier feels he is fighting for the wrong side. I'm not sure she could comprehend that concept. And 
she's a very intelligent woman. I probably wouldn't have been able to stand her for five years if she wasn't intelligent and funny. Ah, damn. I'm getting into the positive. Okay. She... We both had many problems in the relationship, and she refused to actually deal with any of them. She felt that if you don't talk about something, it goes away. You know, censorship. She was religious. I may have already hinted enough at that. Even though and she was Christian, even though she, at least a couple of times, said that she didn't buy into the New Testament. I proposed that she might as well be a Jew, that never got a reply. <clears throat> One of her problems with, you know, lowering carbon emissions, you know, with trying to preserve... I mean, a lot of people don't believe in it at all. She partially didn't believe in it, but also, just in case it happened, most of the places that would be underwater, she didn't like anyway. Those were her words. I'm not even kidding. I'm... And... Perhaps, you know, many Americans feel that way about many other countries, but she even felt that way about other states in America. Other states in her own country, she didn't mind if they would wind up underwater because she didn't like them anyway. They were amoral to her. She didn't have any sympathy for the victims of Katrina because they should have known, you know, building that city in a big bowl or whatever. Yeah, because, you know, everybody who was, who was afflicted by Katrina was, of course, you know, one of the founders of it. Not Katrina, New Orleans. She... She hated any survivor who left a pet behind, not even thinking about that there might not be time. I mean, I myself have a lot of sympathy for animals, but you don't always have time. She felt that all criminals should just, you know, be punished. She was certain that no one who was being punished had you know, just been at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or at least not enough that it would make a difference. She was pretty much, you know, she felt that people were guilty until proven innocent. She was very much for the death penalty. She wanted it to be as bad as possible. I several times tried to explain to her that, I mean, other than the fact that it's barbaric, if you really do want to punish the guy, life imprisonment, you know, because he has nothing to do in there, and he has the rest of the life, the rest of his life to think about what he's done, but no, she was certain that that, you know, because anyone who commits a crime has no Conscien conscience, you know, according to her. It was pretty much always just her way or nothing at all. I don't really have a problem with someone who wants things a specific way, but she couldn't even always argue for it, you know, it was just the way she was raised. And even though she did have some problems with some of those things, she just couldn't quite, you know, even when I won debates, even when she admitted, yes, the way I've been thinking about it is kind of dumb, and this, this did happen, she would not change her mind. I, I actually debated with her until she admitted that, yes, Imprisoning someone for so and so many years and then letting them out, you know, 
if we don't try to prepare them while they're in prison for being outside, for having a job, then they might not be that good once they come out. All she said was, well, we don't think that far ahead. She was certain that Yeah, that might be about what I can think of, think of off the top of my head. One more thing. Once I tried to break up with her, and she threatened to cut herself. I suppose that's it for this one. I might make more. Anyway, I almost married that.